how cozy is my little office setup? I'm like so vibing here. I've been filming here all day, trying to batch film as much as I can before this baby pops out of me so that I have videos pre-scheduled for you guys. But I've just been like totally vibing in my new office. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna show you guys a proper tour soon. It's just the stuff behind me looks nice, but the stuff to the side of me is a disaster. So I can't be showing you that bag of stuff, those cardboard boxes. We're not ready for the grand reveal yet, but I will show you all in due time, I promise. I just really like it here. I think it's very, very cozy and professional. Um, and today's video, well, today's video for me is like five or six videos, but today's video for you is which fragrances to wear to places where you're technically not allowed to wear fragrances, be it certain types of workplaces, be it to your mother-in-law's house who is like deathly sensitive of fragrances or a friend who's very sensitive. These are fragrances that you can still get away with wearing in places where you're technically not allowed to have a fragrance on. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then keep on watching. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Yana, this is The Scented. A lot of news here today, aside from fragrances, as most of you guys already know, because I mentioned it in some of my previous videos, but yes, I am like super duper pregnant. I'm 38 weeks right now. The last time that I told you guys about it was when I was 33 weeks, so, I am a whale and this baby's gonna be here any day now. Or maybe by the time you're watching this video, it's already happened and I just have you guys covered ahead of time. So that is big news and you guys have been so supportive. So I just really wanna say a huge thank you to you guys. I am so appreciative of your kind words and your messages and all of the comments and I just wanted to let you guys know that they don't go unnoticed and I really appreciate every single one of you and I know this is probably weird for the new people here because they're like why is this girl rambling on about messages about her pregnancy so those of you guys can just like fast forward a little bit I'm sure this isn't really all that interesting and we're gonna get to the fragrances momentarily but I just did want to say a huge thank you to you guys and all of your really sweet kind messages so that means a lot and you guys um hit the subscribe hit the subscribe and like we'll do the things together i'm not gonna blabber on about my life news because we're here for fragrances and yeah so let's get started fragrances to wear to places where you can't wear fragrances or a catchier title that i've come up with in the actual title of the video Kayali Musk 12. I got a little teeny tiny guy. I will be getting a full bottle of this. This is fantastic. This is a really nice clean musk fragrance. It doesn't project like crazy and none of the fragrances in this list obviously are gonna project like crazy. These are all intimate scents that stay close to the skin that you can smell on yourself, but most other people will either not smell it or you'll fool them and they'll think it's either just, just you. Just you smell good, your shampoo smells good, your clothing, your leather good, whatever it may be, that smells good, but it certainly is not perfume. This one smells like beautiful, clean, freshly washed skin. It's like a little bit soapy. It's it's very clean. It really just smells like you got out of the shower, but it's it's a clean skin smell. It has a little bit of an aquatic facet. There's lotus in here. You can smell a little bit of those aquatic florals a nice plushy vanilla, but like there's a little bit of a soapy fizzle in that muskiness. And it's very sexy, very clean. There's a slight resemblance to Reserve's clean skin or clean reserve skin. My brain is a mess and a mush right now, so words are not gonna come together very smoothly. This smells a little bit like that, but muskier, more sexy, more sophisticated very very nice fragrance i really like the musk 12 i think it's a really underrated one from kayali i mentioned it in my underrated fragrances video which i'll link up here for you guys uh, that one's definitely worth checking out then we have zadig and voltaire this is her and it is milky like the packaging it has this sort of milky creamy facet to it and in fact it has a note of whipped cream there's chestnut in here sandalwood a nice creamy creamy sandalwood like this this fragrance really smells like whipped cream like the 
big old whipped cream that you get. I get it from Costco, so I'm gonna think about the Costco one. That big old psh, bottle and you turn it upside down, you get psh, all this whipped cream. This smells like whipped cream. A little bit woody and it has a nutty facet and it's that it's that chestnut, but it's not roasted, it's not over overly strong or sweet. It's just all blended into that creaminess, into that vanillic whipped creamy goodness. And this one stays close to the skin. It's sensual, it's smooth, and people will smell you. Like when they come close to you, they will smell you and you will smell amazing to them. But it won't like call you out, you know what I mean? Like you're not gonna walk by and leave a massive trail and red flag yourself. You can get away with wearing this where you can't wear fragrance. Then a very sophisticated ladylike scent. It's Etoile du Nuit and this is from Goutal. I love these bottles. I love this whole collection. I have one more to get, I have two of three. And this one is quieter than the other one that I have. The other one I have is Tenue de Soiree. That one's really good as well, but this one, it's it's one you can get away with better because it smells like a nice powdery makeup scent. A woodiness is in here as well, so it's to me it's quite dry. Even though there's raspberry in here, I can hardly smell that raspberry. To me, I get like a woody facet that goes with that iris. And it really just smells like a beautiful face of makeup, like a beautiful face of expensive makeup powder. It's really lovely, really feminine and ladylike and understated. So this one you will definitely get away with. It does stay fairly close to the skin. It doesn't leave a massive trail, but you'll smell it on yourself. I love spraying this on my clothing and I'll, I'll spray it like all over my sweater and I will just like indulge and smell the sweater and my partner can smell it like on my sweater and he thinks it's a really, really beautiful scent as well. Just very sophisticated and ladylike. Next is one of my absolute favorites of all time. I love the scent, but I always complain about performance and longevity. However, I'm turning lemons into lemonade because it works in this particular scenario where you don't really want to be called out for your fragrance. And that is Wood Sage and Sea Salt from Jo Malone. This fragrance is salty and sweet, woody and just so beautiful, a little bit aquatic. It's like a very, unusual type of aquatic scent. I I am like head over heels in love with this fragrance. It, it was love at first sniff for me and it stayed that way consistently throughout years. This fragrance does suffer from poor performance and longevity though, but if you wanna wear it somewhere where you don't wanna be called out on your fragrance or you don't wanna irritate somebody that you know is very sensitive, it will be perfect and as long as you spray it on yourself and spray it like close to your nose holes you'll be able to smell it on yourself i like to layer this with fragrance oils that are dupes of this fragrance because i want to make it perform as much as possible you can also layer it with the cream the body lotion in this scent my favorite oil and you guys keep asking me what my favorite dupe oil of Wood Sage and Sea Salt is. It's the one from the fragrance shop. Completely not sponsored. I don't think this brand even knows about me, but it's a US based company. It's called the fragrance shop. They make really impeccable fragrance oils. And so far I've tried a whole bunch of Wood Sage and Sea Salt dupes. Theirs is the best one. It is very pricey though. It's, I think it's about $70 for like a small bottle. Worth it. Very long lasting, identical scent, but uh, but expensive. So then the next best one in terms of price point is from Generic Perfumes. That one is also like incredibly close, but like a fraction of the price. So if you do want to make it last, layer it with oils. I'll link everything for you guys in the description. Otherwise, stunning fragrance and it'll just stay close to the skin. Another one that I absolutely love that actually smells like a hair product is North Bondi from Way. I bought the fragrance after I worked my way through the leave-in conditioner that had the same scent in it and it smells identical. It smells like the leave-in conditioner so like this might as well be a hair product. It has a dry powderiness to it, a little bit of citrusy, like citrusy facets, there's violet. It has a sweet, almost like candy crusted powderiness, like candied violet sort of smell, but it's also quite dry. 
a little bit woody. It smells really sophisticated. It smells like a sophisticated powdery scent, but for your hair, like it really just smells like you got an upscale shampoo. So not like Herbal Essences shampoo, even though that smells very nice too. Not hating on Herbal Essences. This smells like you got some like upscale, expensive, bougie hair product and no one's gonna call you out. It's very fresh, it's very clean and it won't offend anybody. Next is Killian Princess. I am so glad I finally have this in my collection. I have been dying to get my hands on this fragrance since I found out that it was discontinued and no longer available. And now, hallelujah, it's available again and Sephora has it and hopefully permanently. Anyway, this is a very uplifting gingery tea scent with marshmallows. It's very fluffy. It's very like plushy and comforting and delicious. It does stay close to the skin and it's a non-imposing scent. Like I think even if somebody smelled you, they wouldn't be bothered by it because it really smells like I described in another video. It smells like you have a ginger like tea latte, like say like a ginger matcha latte and you have little tiny marshmallows on top of it. So it's a little bit sweet, it's creamy, it's plushy like that and it's got a little bit of a ginger kick. Very refreshing and balanced out with that sweet delicious marshmallow and I personally spray so much on my clothing all over my body and it's not an attention grabbing fragrance. It does stay relatively close. The sillage is kind of minimal in my experience. The projection is intimate. And even though it's such a lovely fragrance, you're gonna be able to smell it on yourself, which I think is the most important thing. Arguably, I just wanna smell myself. I only care how I smell. I don't really care what other people smell. If they smell me, can they smell me? It doesn't matter. If I can smell myself, that's the most important thing. And I can really smell myself with this one, but it stays close to the skin. So perfect for situations where you don't wanna be called out on your fragrance. Then a new acquisition of mine, Watier from Lise Watier. Nobody talks about this fragrance, but it is such a pretty, clean, crisp fragrance. It is such an easy grab and go. It just smells like it could be a Chanel. Like it smells like it could be a simple Chanel fragrance like, like Chanson Fraiche, something along those lines, but simplified, less citrusy, just kind of clean. Clean and crisp, simple, easy, probably the least fragrant of all of the fragrances here. I like to spray this one at home. I'll spray it like all over my robe and it smells very sophisticated, but very, very minimalistic. So definitely you'll get away with this one. Then we have some Bulgaris. I love Bulgari. They are such an underdog house. I keep holding these bottles upside down. I got two for you. We have the Omnia Crystalline, which is shampoo-y. It really just smells like a pretty shampoo. Then we have the original Omnia EDP. This is just the Omnia EDP. It is not the coral. It is not any of the other ones, just the classic Omnia EDP. That's it. It smells like a creamy, spicy tea, like a masala tea. It has cardamom. It has milky notes. It is quite an intimate like projection but it doesn't smell like a laundry or whatever like a lot of these fragrances are. This one's different. This one has a sweetness to it. It's a delicious sweet masala tea with cardamom, with milk, like lots of frothy milk. Delicious, really beautiful. It has like a lotion-y effect almost, like, like satin, lotion-y, smooth. It smells like touching satin. We're gonna be poetic here. Imagine running your hands through some satin. And that's what it smells like. It's not a sharp spice. It's a very smooth, creamy, milky fragrance. This is another one that I talked about in my underrated fragrances video. And it is really, really underrated. Like for people that are looking for a milky, smooth spice, that one ticks all the boxes. And the Omnia Crystalline, it's a lot simpler. It's really just like a fresh shampoo-y scent. If, like, if you wanted a really nice just shampoo-y scent, it's very, very pleasant, very easy to wear. Nothing like outstanding or, you know, wow factor, but 
still addictive. Very pleasant, girly, nice, smooth shampoo scent. All of the Bulgari fragrances have this sort of lotiony facet, this woody sort of lotiony kind of texture. And that's what I really, really like about them. I find most of them have this sort of quality. So even though they smell different, they still have this like satiny, silky sort of smooth scent, which I really like. We're down to our last two. I want to talk about for size blondine. I really like this one. This is one of my best niche blind buys. I think it's an amazing leather fragrance. The problem with it is performance, but in this case, we're going to talk about it because we're not looking for performance. We don't want projection. No, we don't want the sillage. We don't want people to catch us. Nope. And this one, if that's the case and you just want to be able to smell yourself and you don't necessarily want to be noticed, but you, you don't necessarily want a clean scent either. Like a lot of these are just clean scents, but a few of them like are spicy or leathery, buttery. This is the leathery, buttery. This one smells like delicious melted salted butter and suede and sweet lilies. It sounds like it would be a heavy hitter and it sounds like it would be quite dense, but it's not. Like you have a buttery, delicious, warm croissant, you're wearing Uggs, you have a bouquet of lilies. It's good. It smells really, really amazing. Doesn't project like crazy. It lasts a decent amount of time. Like I do get a proper six hours out of this. It's just that it doesn't, it doesn't shoot. You know what I mean? It stays close. So it'll do in intimate situations perfectly. It would suit any situation where you don't want to be caught wearing a fragrance, but you don't necessarily want a clean, soft, musky fragrance. You want something that's like, that you think packs a punch but it's deceiving because it's only packing a punch to you. And then finally, we have Banana Republic's Pure White. This one is like a very, very budget, somewhat similar to Bal de Freak from Byredo type of scent. It's a very happy, clean scent. It's different than the rest of them. This, this is like a simplified laundry-esque Bal de Freak. It has some tea, it has some bergamot, lavender, it smells very, very clean. Like if Bal de Freak was a tea scent, kind of like that, that just came to me. But basically that's what it is. It's like a tea musky scent and it's similar to Bal de Freak, about 70%. That's generous, but whatever. It's like if Bal de Freak was a tea scent. That's what this is. Stays very close to the skin though. Like I spray it like a body spray. I spray it all over the place and it doesn't really project too much. So. You're gonna be able to smell it on yourself. Others, unless they come close to you, probably won't be able to smell you. So I hope that was a helpful list. Those are all of the fragrances that you guys can wear to places where fragrances are not allowed and you will get away with it, I promise you. If you guys wanna check any of them out, I have them all in my merch store. Um, you guys probably already know that I launched a merch store. I'm decanting as well. So all of the decants on there, they're hand decanted by me. I pack everything up really nicely, usually throw in some little extras and goodies and send it to you in a beautiful little care package. So that's all on the merch store. If you guys wanted to try out any of these fragrances, they're available there. And I will have everything linked in the description for you. And that's it. Let me know what fragrances you guys think would be perfect for this sort of occasion where you're not really allowed a fragrance, but you really want to wear one. So which fragrance won't get you caught? Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.